channel I go by the name from Bali Z2 but you can call me Antle if you want to. Welcome my baby, welcome my lovey. Today we are shooting something different. Today we are chilling. Today we are rebranding. Literally. <laughs> I look different. I'm chilling. I'm not vlogging. I look so proper. Sorry guys, I'm looking at the monitor. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, please, we are shooting something different today. So something different means that we are different. Everyone's supposed to be different. The segment, everything is different. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, tune in, like the video, comment if you disagree, whatever I say. If you agree, whatever I say, please do comment. Well I mean, well baby, well baby. So today's video is things I've learned. Oh 21 things I've learned at 21. Because guys, I've been 21 the whole year. My birthday was in Feb. So I've been 21 the whole year. It's now December. So today's topic is 21 things I've learned at 21. And number one, guys, number one is God. Guys, um, I want you to know how important it is to have God in your life on an every like daily on your, on your daily basis. It's really really important for you to wake up and pray, sleep. Before sleeping, you pray. Um, I don't want to sugarcoat it, but when you serve God, you feel better, you feel lighter. Because you know that your problems are not only handed over, but you know that they're going to be handled. Does it make sense? Yes, it makes sense. So when you serve God, there's a part of you that becomes lighter. There's a part of you knowing that there's a lot of promises. There's a lot of things that can come true to life. There's a, there's a lot of goodness guys there's a lot of happiness when it comes to God you serving God is a blessing you are a blessing yourself when you sleep before you sleep guys please pray when you wake up in the morning please pray read please pray <laughs> please pray read your Bible on a daily basis guys um, I've been saved by my friend Kai cheers to Kanye Cheers to that love. She saved me. She took me to church one time. I wasn't, not that I wasn't going to church, but I was inconsistent when it comes to God. Um, I was really, really inconsistent. I'd pray when things are going wrong. I'd pray when I'm suffering from something. I'd pray when my life isn't going the right way. Literally, literally. But now I'm getting the point of it. Something good is happening. I pray. Before I eat, I pray. I pray for the smallest things. Before shooting this video, I prayed. So, guys, without God on your side, you are nothing. I'm sorry to tell you this. I don't want you to hear it from anyone, but I want you to hear it from me. Without God, you are nothing. Even if you don't, you don't have to praise God 24-7. Literally, in the morning, when you wake up, before you sleep, you shout. During the day, the smallest things, you speak to God about them. Your smallest segments, you speak to God. Praise God on your daily life, guys. Make it a part of you. It should be in you. Thank you. <laughs> Number two. Ladies and gents, it's okay to say no. I feel like for the past 20 years, I wasn't... I couldn't say no to like most of the things but now I feel good I can say no to a lot of things I, I, I want to I want to thank growth I want to thank growth I want to thank um, for God opening my eyes actually because it, it was really really an eye-opener I was one person who couldn't say no one person could say something and I'd really really do it right now even if I wasn't uncomfortable but since uh not since I turned 21, but at this age, that's what I learned. Oh, it's okay to say no and it's okay for you to be yourself. <laughs> um, number three, you are your biggest priority. Ladies, you are your biggest priority. You don't have to be seeking love outside in order for you to know what you are your biggest priority. It's called seeking validation. I feel like um, I've been seeking validation even this year, but I think I just got smarter and I got closer to God, obviously. 
um, so a lot of things were an eye opener. Um, I know I now know that I'm my biggest priority. I mean, I now know that I should put myself first in every single thing I do. It's me, then it's God. Those together, inseparable. So ladies, you are your biggest priority. Please let us stop seeking validation from people. Let us seek ourselves. Self-love is very, very important. It's okay to be alone in your room and not say anything to anyone. Put your phone down because you are your biggest priority. Your peace comes first. <laughs> I'm good at this. <laughs> I'm joking. Number four. Be open to new priorities. Ah, oh, priorities, eh? Bali. <laughs> be open to new perspectives. Okay, ladies and gents. Can we, we, we know that literally everyone has a certain talent that everyone has, but don't be based on that talent. Try something else. Sorry about that. Try something else. Try different things. Um, like for the longest time, um, since I was so young, I think I was like um, 16, 15, um, I used to, I tried a lot of things from me being 16 till now. Now I'm trying YouTube. <laughs> the last time I tried making scrunchies, hairbands. The last time I was doing torn jeans. The last time I was doing makeup. Guys, I've been doing a lot of things. Now I'm trying on YouTube. After YouTube, I'm gonna upgrade myself. I'm looking better. I mean, I'm trying something new, isn't it? I'm trying long hair. I've never ever... So it's the smallest things when you try something new, ladies and gents. Always risk. Always do something. Make something of yourself. Don't depend on that one thing. That one thing might not even make it. So you know, when you try, five different things you know that two is possible three might be even possible four might be even possible so please be open to new perspectives be open to you trying new things risk your life if you have to guys please if you have to risk is good because risk builds a foundation for your future you know what i've tried certain things and i know i did it and i know i've risked and it feels so good i swear <laughs> I swear and then number four the power of number five sorry number five the power of tongue the power of the tongue the power of tongue yes that 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 the power of tongue guys is very very important what you say to yourself you will be what you say if you predict negative things to yourself negative things will come to you if you predict positive things positive things will come to you for instance you have one rand in your purse and you just go like ah i'm so broke girl you're going to be broke i swear you are going to be broke so if you have a one rand in your bag just say oh i got a million baby your fridge at home is empty be like okay this fridge is full that fridge is going to be full it's going to be fuller than fuller I'm telling you. So the power of tongue, guys, is important. Also, when it comes to the clashing of energies, when you fight with someone, let me tell you this. When you fight with someone, there's clash of energies. You guys are not fighting each other, but you guys are fighting a situation. So when you say vulgar words, those words come back to you twice. What goes up must come down. I'm telling you. At this point, I'm really, really telling you. What goes up must come down. So when you're fighting with a person, you're not fighting against the person, but you're fighting against the situation that's caught up in between you guys. But if you start saying vulgar words, start saying bad things, they come back to you twice. No cap. No lie, no cap. So beware of what you say with your mouth. Please. Okay. Number six. Embrace your natural features. Ladies, please embrace your natural features. Ladies, we don't have everything. I know. And it's okay. But I like the fact that now we're starting to embrace 
stretch marks we're starting to normalize every single thing literally so i'm just happy that we normalizing such things and it's okay please embrace it we, we're not we're not gonna look good not all of us are gonna look good there's some parts whereby i don't have also and but i'm embracing guess what guess what i'm embracing it i have insecurities with my teeth <laughs> But I'm embracing it because it's what God gave me and I have to put it out there. And with me putting it out there puts more power in me because I don't want to see I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. Okay, number seven. Okay, this one is important. Guys, gents, ladies, teen, if you're watching this video, importance of mental health at the end of the day we all need to talk about it this is one thing i've learned at 21 that's been hitting me since i turned 21 i'm not gonna twist it i'm not gonna sugarcoat it but your mental health is important i mean i was lucky enough to um have access to a therapist and i mean every single black white person colored should have a therapist in their life guys i mean before getting a therapist i used to talk to my mkulu mkulu is the guy that cleans around in our complex and he he cleans the whole complex and when i have something to unleash i literally go to him and talk to him because he's older he's much more experienced so i'm not saying good to you, everyone should have access to a uh, a therapist but it can literally talk to a stranger because guys it's important we are fighting a lot of things we are fighting a lot of people we don't know so all i'm saying is please just find someone you can talk to it can be someone you don't know it's even better when it's someone you don't know so i feel like it's even better when the person is much more older as well because i feel like they have experience they'll give you more advice they'll give you proper advice so Mental health is important, guys. Ladies and gents, please talk to someone. You, we need to be literally fighting depression, anxiety every single day. So it's important for you guys to do that. Please talk to someone. Thank you. <laughs> and then number eight. Number eight is that you won't please everyone. The important thing is that Guys, you will not please everyone, I swear. You will not be the main character of everyone's story out here, but you have to be the main character of your own story. I mean it. I mean it. I literally, literally mean it. You have to be the... No one, no one else is going to like you besides yourself. Okay, your mom might like you. Your friends might like you, but no one's going to love you the way you need to be loved. You have to be the main character of of your own story i've learned the hard way trust me not everyone's gonna learn. i've been always trying to please everyone in my circle since 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 but i've always I, I, just now i took no activity i'm not gonna please everyone and that's okay babies <laughs> and then number nine boys are buses guys boys are buses boys are buses boys are buses one arrives the next one leaves the first one leaves the next one arrives so boys are buses guys i've also learned the, <laughs> i've also learned that one the hard way i mean i've i was in a place where i thought Uguti, i'll never be loved outside this certain circle relationship if you want to call it situationship i always thought Uti, i'm not gonna be loved outside but look at me babies <laughs> please look at me properly take your time i mean take your time <laughs> so when i mean boys are buses i'm saying Uti, don't be stuck with one because the other one is coming and if you decide not to take the other one take the next one i think dude Please, ladies, do yourself a favor. Don't be stuck in a situation where you're going to regret, where you're going to start losing yourself and you're going to start losing every single part of depression, anxiety, literally everything. So, please, boys are buses. Number 10, spirit of comparison. This is most likely to happen in everyone. Everyone. Our parents our grandmothers our friends 
as every single one spirit of comparison is when you compare yourself to someone else you are never yourself when you start comparing yourself sisi booty go go mama sisi stop comparing yourself i've learned to, i've also learned the hard way because i was also i want to be like that person but the moment i start being that person is the moment i start losing myself right right i start losing myself because i'm now comparing oh she has this i also need to have this oh she has this i also need to have this that's not okay you may like the person but never lose yourself that's important spirit of comparison uh, and then number 11 moms low-key know the best moms low-key know the best guys and i mean it and i mean what i'm saying um i've been for the past 20 years i've been quiet i've been socially awkward i've been keeping my feelings inside and i i, I was learning the hard way because i knew good to my mom knew it but she just couldn't um you know, I wasn't allowing her to enter. But as I grew, I mean, I know it's one year later, but guys, one year makes a difference. It they know the best. I'm not saying, Guti, please respect your, par your parents. Please respect your mother and father. It's even better when you have both parents because you have like two heads advising you. Never be afraid to ask. Always ask when it's needed. Put your pride aside and ask. I'm telling you, they know the best. And then number 12. Things don't get better, but you learn to manage them better. Um, for example, you might have a situation right now and you know, Wuti, in the next few days, in the next months, you are going to be better and you've learned your lesson. So things don't get better, but you learn to manage them better. Because you know, Wuti, the next time this thing happens, I'll be able to manage it better. So I've also learned that also. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I feel like we can go through certain parts of life around and around like in a circle but trust me the second time you already know what to do you already know how to tackle it right you already know what to do then what's the next step so things don't get better but you learn to manage them better Shop. <laughs> and then number 13 being you isn't easy i know guys being being us isn't easy being literally you being yourself isn't easy because now we we meet different energies, we meet different people. We'd want to impress every single person we see because you don't want to unleash the, the real you because you're scared to see. What are they going to say? They're going to think I'm not cool. They're going to think I'm cool. They're going to think I'm not cool so I should act a certain way. So all I'm saying is be yourself. I know it's not easy, but you allow more you allow more positivity into your life when you're being yourself. When you're being yourself, you literally allow the power. The power is all on you when you are being yourself. You don't have to be anyone else. Be yourself. It's not easy, I know. But just do it. Trust. Just do it. You'll see. And then number 14. Money is needed, guys. Money is needed. We all need to have money. So we better start saving. Money is needed. We better start saving. I'm not going to dwell into that because there's, we, we all have different situations when it comes to money. But always make a plan. Always have backup. I swear you won't regret it. Money is needed. We need to start saving. And then number 15. Making sacrifices. We always have to make sacrifices in life. I want a better life. I have to sacrifice a lot of relationships. I want a better life. I have to sacrifice a lot of my time. I want this I have to sacrifice a lot of me making sacrifices is part of life and we should start taking note right now we'll see there's some things we don't want to do but there's some things we have to do so you can't be like I don't want to do it I don't want to do it listen sis you don't want to do it but you have to do it you're building a foundation for your kids for your husband for everyone you don't want to be suffering in the next I don't know how many years so making sacrifices makes things easier because you're building your foundation and you won't regret it i swear but there's certain sacrifices that you shouldn't make <laughs> i'm not gonna fight it <laughs> 
And then number 16, can we just be grateful? Can we just be grateful? Be grateful for, I'm grateful for sitting here at this time. I'm grateful for having all of this equipment with me. I'm grateful that I'm, I have a YouTube channel. I'm grateful for my 60 subscribers. I'm grateful for everyone in my life. Can we just be grateful? Wake up every single There's a person who doesn't have what you have at this point and they th they'd love to have what you have. So can you just be grateful, please? Um, number 17, guys, it's okay not to have everything figured out. It's okay for you to go the wrong direction. It's okay for you to learn from your mistakes. I can tell my life is, is a mess. Me, I can tell you my life is a mess. My life is a literal mess. But I'm, I don't have everything figured out, but I'm managing my life better than before, I swear. I don't have it figured out as yet, but I'm doing way, way better. And then number 18, energies don't lie, baby. Energies don't lie. Um, it's so important because there's some people that you can chill with and enjoy your time with them But if your energies don't clash Oh, I learned this very very hard guys um, 21 is just a roller coaster because you realize a lot of things like you, you that's your starting point of realizing who is who who is here for what who is doing here for who what is actually happening here I swear um I'm not trying to say I'm better, but there's just some energies in my life that are just always dragging me down, always pushing me. And the thing is, <sighs> energies don't lie, guys. I don't want to dwell in it, but energies don't lie. So make sure with you when you meet, when you chat with someone, you guys are on the same page and you guys have a mutual understanding because energies don't lie. We can be chilling here together, but I know and I can feel. Literally. And then number 19. My phone keeps on locking itself. And then number 19. Start your career prep early. Career prep early means studying, you know, doing something, a job, saving up for the future. I don't know. Um, YouTube. You know, just start your career prep early. If you're 18 and you're watching this, do something for yourself. Do something that you know that you'll be sharp in the future and you'll have no regrets. All right? Huh. Oh, that was number 20. Sorry, that was number 20. Number 21, the important one. Be at peace, be happy, and live. At this point, peace is the only thing I want. I, I'm tired of fights, guys. Me, I'm just one person who's tired of fighting. I'm fighting the situation so badly. I just want to be happy. I just want to choose peace. But something is just not allowing. I'm, uh, to be honest, I'm, I, I'm learning this. I didn't, uh, wait, how do I put it? Choosing peace, I'm still, it's, it's a process, you know, it's a process, I'm choosing peace. Peace is not going to happen overnight, guys. We are fighting a lot of things. I'm saying again, peace is not going to ha happen overnight. I really want to be happy. I really, really want to live. But there's just some things that keep on dragging me down. And I'm just like, you know what, these things need to stop. But the other party is just not giving in, guys. I'm, I'm empty. I'm really, really empty. And I, I, let me tell you something. It's not something I need in my life right now, but I feel like I have to go through it in order for me to learn a lesson. So for me to choose before peace comes most, you know, everything that's dark, everything you have to, you know, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. So I feel like at this point, I have to go through whatever I'm going through. And then maybe peace, I'm living. I'm happy I'm living. But... Peace-ish. <laughs> peace, I really want, for me, I really, really want peace, but it's a struggle. I don't know how is it a struggle because you can just omit to some things and just say, okay, this is going to be like this. And then, shop, life goes on. But, like, we are different people, guys. We are different. We are different in all sorts of ways. Um, there's a lot of things um, that are happening around us. So, Akiti, man, Akiti, 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 Akiti. 
like some people would just want something in you that you can't give anymore and they keep on dragging keep on digging and um my granny always said you'll have peace once you're in heaven for now in life you're not going to have peace you can have peace as in like you can sleep in peace wake up in peace but there's certain people that are not going to give you peace and it's so sad that it always has to do something with someone sacrificing you know dude at 21 i'm still learning to have peace um it's a learning process it can take me five years if it has to and i'm okay with that i'm okay with that because i feel like i'm going through it and i need to go through it but the other party is just dragging dragging me down i don't want to lie so number 21 choose peace be happy and live please <laughs> this is my youtube channel guys i can't be hiding i have to be transparent about everything and some things are just some things when they're not okay they're not okay i feel like if you're going through things go through things alone stop including other people in your in your process of healing because you're also dragging the other person down personally i want i'm fixing my life I'm fixing my life, so I'm fixing. But if the other party is trying to drag me down because they're going through something, it's different. It's really, really different, and it's hard for me because you, I cannot admit to shit that I, I don't even like. I don't want to be included. I don't want to be included in your problems. I have my own problems, dude. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I have my own problems. I'm dead. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, comment. Please subscribe. I'm um, like we're on the road to a hundred subscribers. We're on sixty right now, but I, can we just reach? Please tell your sister, your sister's sister, your brother's sister, your father's sister, everyone just to subscribe so your girl can get to one hundred. What what is one hundred? One hundred. It would be a, such a milestone for me, guys, because this YouTube channel was literally an eye opener for me. It was literally um what i always wanted to do but i've always been so scared um please follow me on instagram it's mbali zetu underscore and uh, and uh. so thank you guys thank you love see you guys next time bye